Give me some, give me some, hey yo! Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Trinity, and I'm back with another message impacted America already. Here's how. Ooh, dang. I ain't gonna cap, yo. I never thought in my life I'd see Messi in America, but yo, Messi is in freaking America. Messi is in freaking Miami. Crazy. But hey, man, do me a favor, y'all. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and let's see what this video is all about, man. Decisión de que, que voy a ir a Miami. Que todavía no tengo cerrado 100%, o falta algunas cosas, pero. Lionel Messi excites Americans. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. Bro, these are people pronounce his name different, bro. Like, one thing I've realized a lot of people pronounce. Lionel Messi's name different, which is cool. I mean, it's lit, it's lit, but it's like, dang, you know? Some people try to be correcting other people. Oh, this is how you pronounce his name. This is how you pronounce his name. Like, what? Come on, man. We know the player. That's all that matters. <laughs> you don't need to know how to pronounce his name. I'm joking. But hey, man, that's crazy. Messi is in a freaking America, y'all. Like, that is crazy, man. That is insane. Wow. And this is true. Leo immediately takes control of the United States soccer affairs. Although soccer was barely even considered a sport until recently, how did the GOAT make football practically as popular as it is now? The Argentines were in Miami for slightly over a week, and we will talk about how quickly his legacy is expanding. So hit that like button and we'll get started. Everyone would agree that Lionel is entitled to the title of GOAT, despite being the target of widespread ridicule He's and abuse. No there are some Americans who have never heard of Lionel Messi, yet he is a household name in every country except their own. Imagine, imagine. How can you literally say you don't know Lionel Messi? You should be ashamed, bro. Like, at this point, if you don't know who this dude is, bro, you should be ashamed. I'm sorry. But you should be ashamed. Because what the heck? How can you literally say you're a human being? You're proudly a human being without knowing who the heck Lionel Messi is. Tell me. I want to know. I'm curious. How can you say you're a human being and you don't know Lionel Messi? You should be ashamed, bro. You're an alien. At this point, I'm sorry. You're a freaking alien. Can't be doing that, bro. Nah, you can't say you don't know Lionel Messi. You can't do that. You can't do even Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't like Cristiano Ronaldo personally. I do not like Cristiano Ronaldo. But hey, if you literally say you don't know who that is, <laughs> bro, what what world are you from? I want to know what world are you from because it doesn't make sense. It literally does not make sense. Like, are you human? If you don't know Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, you are not human. I'm sorry. <laughs> but dang, that's crazy. I find it crazy. Like, I literally find it crazy. There are people out there that do not know Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. What the heck? That, bro. Among the very best ever, Lena planned to visit Miami. I am still determining who that is. Miss Missy Elliott Messi, Lionel. I don't know why Lionel Messi's presentation received 3.5 billion views on YouTube. Dang. That's a huge number, but it's understandable given that football, or soccer, that is isn't the most popular number. sport in the United States. Nevertheless, even Americans who aren't particularly passionate about the sport are curious, as evidenced by David Beckham, co-owner of Inter Miami. The Beckham. previous record for most people watching a presentation was held by well, Cristiano Ronaldo, team, whose introduction as a new footballer for Al Nasir received 3 billion views. With that stated, the number of views of Leo Messi's debut performance for Inter Miami suggests that Ronaldo's fight for gold status is lost here as well. The media reported 1 billion views for Miami, then 2 billion. So a third billion wouldn't surprise us. Yeah, However, dang. this is the total number of viewers worldwide. And how many are American needs to be clarified? TNT Sports reports 12.5 million viewers. Ooh. The game Liam missed in Miami was the most watched American television event in history. Even in this respect, Messi has become an absolute game changer. Hey, he has already delivered and fulfilled chill, his primary hey, mission in America just, to chill, popularize football you, and take it to the absolute is, uh... top. Moreover, people follow him in a big crowd. In the NBA, it's common to see celebrities and players rubbing shoulders on the sidelines in soccer. 
especially in MLS. It's a wonderful but extraordinary sight. For the record, Serena Williams, LeBron James, and Mark Anthony. Now there's a constellation, and we think these tweets perfectly capture the unusual situation at an MLS club fixture. One after another, he hears Beckham, then Messi, then LeBron, and even further, we have David and Victoria Beckham, who had to be there for such a historic event for the ancient Miami club. Everyone wanted a picture with Serena Williams, the protagonist. Here's a big hug from the two goats to Leo Messi, and he is with Kim Kardashian's kid after the game. Luckiest and how could we ever. forget these hugs shared by Beckham and Leo after the, the final whistle? Interestingly, as soon as the game ended, Lee Braun greeted Messi like, saying, Welcome, brother. Always good to see and be in the presence of greatness. Messi responded, Thanks a lot, brother. It was adorable to see you. At Inter Miami, he'll have the chance to cement his place as a legendary goat in football lore. American public relations experts are the ones Leo Messi has relied on. His whole accomplishments and sonnets will be forced down his detractors' throats. It's tough to disagree with his assessment, and we'd like to highlight an important point about Messi's transfer. What it's like to work in the United States and why it's a great profession. First off, given that Apple represents Major League Soccer and the corporation controls the broadcast rights, it stands to reason that they would work together. This is how the Technicolor Mammoth greeted Leo when he landed in Miami. Again, a stunning yeah, advertisement yeah. highlighting Messi's career was shown before the match via the television. It began with his time at Versa, moved on to PSD Argentina's World Cup victory, and concluded with an introduction to Miami. Thankfully, Messi did not let anyone down in his first game. Ancient Miami, especially Leo, will attract a larger and larger audience for every Messi match following such performances. Messi's 808th goal in his career was celebrated brilliantly, so you can be assured that the world's worst delays won't ruin the party. With this fantastic piece of work from another industry titan, Adidas, Messi appears to be everywhere in Miami in honor of his 808 goals. Sheesh. Even more surprising, old Miami jerseys bearing Messi's name were stolen on such a massive cargo ship. This city's frenzy is unprecedented. The Adidas store on Lincoln Road is currently raking in record-breaking box office. The Portland branch of the firm is shown here. Okay, it has to be said All this because of one player Think about it All this because of one player Yo That Lionel Messi is literally on display in every nook and cranny of Miami And every crazy. step he takes is brought for sale in the same At manner as his point, insane Debbie president. was marketed Many have even programmed we a cinematic premiere at this point And the clock is ticking Ask down to its no final second Zlatan's debut in the Whatever US was no less epic That's precisely what the world's popular movie. media are writing about no Do you agree? Messi like, earns a free real. kick and wins the first leg of the League Cup Messi Against Mexico's Cruz Affix with a fantastic take could there be anything more epic than this? Serena Williams' reactions have it all. When I saw the free kick go in, I thought, this is how it's meant to end, as Leo Messi said in his post-game interview. David Beckham remarked afterwards that it was terrific because we were treated more like fans than teammates. The fact that Messi was able to do such a monumental task is astounding, and we are all very grateful to have him in our midst. These are the words of Kamal Miller, whose heroine has been returned to you. They yanked me out of a movie, and instead of being a teammate, I became just another spectator. When I saw the number, I was disappointed because I wanted to continue playing with Leo, but it was a dream to meet him. I kissed him and told him to give them Leo. It's completely out of control. Benjamin Kramashi, 18, a midfielder for the club, said, This is the way everything starts. Hopefully it ends in the best way, right before taking the free kick. It felt like we were watching a Hollywood movie that happened. That Please show appreciation movie. for our work by subscribing oh, to our channel and liking this video. Thanks. Hey man, I won't lie to you guys. Messi, Messi, Messi is, is a different breed. Messi is a freaking different breed, man. Like, there's no other person like Messi. No cap. But hey man, that's it for reaction, yo. That was pretty interesting. You can already see that Messi did the most, is actually doing the most in freaking America. You know, people are literally now watching soccer, which is amazing. Like, we all know America as the, you know, basketball place. But, yo, people are watching soccer now. And it's all because of this dude. This amazing goat of all goats. Leonardo Messi. I was about to say Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> hey, man, that's it for reaction, yo. I'll see you guys in the next one.